Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Brown Struggle in Canada. And today we are taking you to Canada's Wonderland for their winter event, Winterfest. So let's head in and see what it's all about. After the quick security check, I was surprised by the decorations this year. This is extremely impressive and I would say it is done on a scale where your eyes are shimmering the whole night through. The event starts at 5 p.m. when the tree lighting ceremony is done for both of the massive Christmas trees right in front of the Canada's Wonderland Winterfest sign. Going to either side next will show you an amazingly lit path where you can see a million lights shimmering on the trees. A highlight like every year can be seen by going to the bridge and watching the Wonder Mountain lit with flowing gold. Right next to it is the skating arena, which is back like every year. Here you can try skating with your loved ones. There is also arrangement for first aid, so you can be very free throughout. The Snowflake Lake, which is what the skating arena is called this year, can this time be also seen from Pavilion right next to its sign. Pavilion can give you a chance to enjoy seeing how everybody is having fun while skating which might motivate you to try it out for yourself. Moving past the bridge, I decided to go back to the front and check out the North Pole Mercantile. This shop is always extensively decorated with different artifacts according to the event happening. For the Christmas theme, this time it takes a very light blue color theme to decorate the different elements in the shop. Nevertheless, it is still really warm to be inside and gives us a reprieve from the outside cold. Heading a bit further, we get to the medieval fair entrance and as we head down, we enter into the medieval fair section. In the medieval fair is the Christmas market. As soon as we entered, we headed towards the right hand side to head towards the Christmas market. There are some warming stations here where you can sit and enjoy the show going on on the stage. Alternatively, going towards the Christmas market, you will be heading towards the otherwise inaccessible area. Here, entering the White Siddhar, you'll see the most of the prominent shops in the Christmas market at Canada's Wonderland. The pavilion is decorated amazingly. There is an amazing Christmas tree right in the middle of it all and it houses different vendors that are selling many unique items from books, perfumes, herbs, pendants, and also some other hot chocolate stalls, which is a classic for Christmas. You can also enjoy a croissant or a croquette. And alternately, you can also have cotton candy here. Apart from that, Surprisingly, there are also stalls for spices and also for woolen hand-knit hats, which was really interesting to see. As well as some really nicely designed hairbands. Going past this pavilion, while following the signs to more vendors, you'll be heading back to the courtyard. Here, there's some more heating areas where you can sit and enjoy your drink and food from the previous arena. Alternatively, you can keep heading on into the next hut and see the big Christmas tree. Moving on, you'll see a lot of sweet shops where you'll find different desserts. There's also super pretzels here, so if you want to enjoy some nice warm pretzels, you can do that here. And there are some other items here like bath salts and bath bombs. There's also a great selection of nutcracker dolls. And once again a shimmering area to sit before you exit and head out of the Christmas market. Overall, I found the Christmas market to be really interesting. In my opinion, it has a bit for everybody that you can come and enjoy with your family. This year at Winterfest, we also see a lot of actors keeping you company. They'll cheer you up and give you some great photo opportunities. A 
I would like to point out that because it's so cold outside, don't forget to layer up. And if you don't, do remember that there are warm-up stations at Canada's Wonderland where you can head inside and warm yourself before heading on. Up next, passing from the bat and heading into the kids zone, you'll see the best decorations of the night in the Snoopy world. Here you'll see large candy cane and amazing multicolored lights as opposed to the yellow lights that you saw in the beginning of the park. Here in this section, we saw the Christmas Carol show, which happens at this time at the night, and found it to be a really pleasant change of pace. Go it while you're young, take the girls tonight. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Too poorly as the speed, hitch him to an open sleigh, and quack, you'll take the lead. Bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Moving just a bit further, you come to Charlie Brown's Christmas tree lot which is an amazing photo opportunity as well. I would like to point out that you don't have to have kids to visit the kids section. And I would definitely recommend you not to miss it, even if you don't have kids. There are still a lot of things to do, a lot of rides that you can still take, and you can visit inside one of their Snoopy signature shops for some nice treats and decorations for Christmas. Further on, as we walk towards the Kids' World section, we were following another trail of beautiful Christmas trees lit with amazing multicolored lights. On our way was the Playhouse Theater, which we couldn't see, but don't forget to see it for yourself. Moving past the Flying Eagles, as you come out of the Kids' World, you see another show happening right there. Up next from here, I headed towards the Vortex. On its way, there was the Canada's Wonderland sign to take photos or the amazing two stars with the Christmas theme of candy canes alongside them. Once you're outside Frontier Canada, if you head left, you'll arrive at several restaurants where you can grab a snack or enjoy a poutine, which is what we did for the warm night. Right beside it is an amazing photo opportunity where you can sit on an ice throne and take some nice photos with your family. Alternatively, heading right after the Frontiers Canada exit, you'll see some nice hanging decorations with a reindeer round up decoration for photos. Moving just a bit further, we saw the coolest area in Canada's Wonderland this year with these amazing multicolored lights strobing at the sound of the music. After this, before heading to the other entrance, I decided to check out Mistletoe. The shop is not an exception and is decorated really well, so I would suggest you check it out for yourself. After looking at all the shop had to offer, we took the second entrance towards the behemoth side of the park. This year, the entrance is filled with some traditional and religious symbols and imagery and the globe is decorated with an over-snowed North Pole. Right next to the globe, there is a heating area right outside the Jingle Bar. Alternatively, you can head in and grab yourself a nice drink. Like all other areas of the park, the decorations here are done very well as well. At this point, it started snowing and it became even more Christmas-like. Right opposite to the dining hall, you can also check out the Igloo Village, which is meant as a private dining experience with your family in a warm environment. Right behind it is a reindeer with decorations and a photo opportunity, alongside the beautifully decorated carousel. Moving just a bit further, you'll see decorated stars, some snowmen playing a beautiful music, and also the round carousel. This is a light ride that is running and you can take during your visit this year. And as we headed towards Cyclone, 
this is where the stage is set up for another show this year. This is called The Cool You Christmas and it is a performance of various Christmas songs by artists on stage. Put up the tree, put up the single silent night. I would say it was a nice change of energy after weathering the cold weather outside. And there was some Mariah Carey songs as well. After watching this show, we decided to head just a bit further where we saw a nice heating area. We rested here for a bit before heading right outside the behemoth to see the beautiful light tunnel. This was an amazing end to our night before we headed back to the front section. While coming back, we also saw the Holly Jolly Trolley Show stage right opposite to the Sky Rider. This year's Winterfest, like always, is best enjoyed with your family and friends. The Winterfest this year have plenty of arrangements for everyone with heaters all around. There is also the classic drummer team going around as nutcrackers. Yet overall, it still remains an enjoyable experience if you visit with your family and friends. At the end of the night, all of the actors gather around in the front so you can interact and take some memorable photos before you go home. We spent a good three to five hours outside but felt it was definitely worth the visit. So this was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like the video don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel as we'll have many more videos coming up.